Hello everyone, today our group is going to present about Cornell method based on audio training. I'm, I'm Abang Mafidaus and this is my group mates. I'm Kok Siang. And I'm William. Okay, next we shall proceed to the next slide. Okay, our outline for our presentation is first, what is auditory learning? Second, characteristic of auditory learner. Third one, application of corner method in auditory learning and its advantages. Fourth one is the disadvantages of auditory learning. And the final one is the conclusion that we made uh, based on our project. Okay, next one. I'm going to talk, I'm going to define about uh, auditory learning. What is auditory learning? It is a learning style which, uh, which a person learns through listening. The, the person depends on hearing and speaking as a main way of learning. And the uh, learner will only remember 75% of what they hear in the lecture compared to the other uh, learners such as kinesthetic and visual. Okay, next I will hand in my presentation to my friend Lee Kok Siang. Hi, I'm Kok Siang. I will explain the characteristics of an auditory learner. Yeah. An auditory learner that they likes to read self out loud. They're good in study groups, high self-confidence, enjoy at things, being on stage, can keep quiet for long periods, follow spoken direction well, they like oral reports, they're not afraid speaking in front of class. Yeah, that's the auditory learner critics of Cornell's notes. This is the example of Cornell's notes. It consists of nine dead class periods and it's also consists of nine ideas and here's the contents of the Cornell's not it contains keywords and ideas import, important dates repeated info ideas projected on, on the projectors info from textbook diagram and pictures and some formulas it's summarized it is also a summary of your notes in your own words yeah I will hand in my presentation to my friends William to explain the the advantages. Okay, so um, the advantages of um, Cornell method for auditory learners. Um, auditory learners excel in uh, Cornell method, especially during lectures, because they are able to process um, and take notes fast enough. Um, Cornell methods requires good summary summarizing skills, which um, auditory learners are uh, excel in, and um, neat summarized notes like help auditory learners to re recite to themselves. Overall, Cornell method helps to reduce the time taken for auditory learners to revise. Um, the disadvantages of using um, Cornell method for auditory learners are that um, they have short um, attention span, so it takes a longer time for them to take uh, to make the notes, the Cornell notes. And um, Cornell method requires a lot of diagrams and drawings, but um, audi audi auditory learners are bad at it. Um, Cornell method is written, hence um, auditory learners have to recite to themselves. This limits um, the this limits them to where and when they can revise. And um, Cornell method requires users to read the notes daily, but auditory learners excels with others reading reading it to them. Um, in, in conclusion, um, Cornell method is suitable for auditory learners, especially in USD life as there's a lot of lectures and it helps reduce the amount of time they take to revise the notes and um, thus makes their life easier. Thank you.